And today we're not alone. We've got our friend here, Ali. Yay! So we're bringing to life ten-year-old Rhiannon's finger cutlery invention. Because everyone needs forks on their fingers. Well, more people are more excited about that thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the start of the day, it's fine. Go on, laugh, right? squat before we monkey. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to go in your video, isn't it? Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't often get access to much beyond my own workspace. Not that I really mind, I've always been incredibly independent and self-sufficient. Still, what might it be like to work on someone else's turf? Get to play with someone else's tools? What if I could help create a video project? for another channel 300 miles from home. So I, I am on my way to the Kids Invent Stuff workshop. Oh, it's top secret. We have to drive there. We're gonna blindfold them. So yeah, no, I'm not allowed. To, I'm not allowed to know where it is. What are we gonna be doing? Uh, so we are going to be building a kids invention, and Ali is the expert. Ali is gonna help. I am make it all happen. Essentially, we've just kidnapped Ali from the holiday. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's it. This is the whole video, guys. I've been kidnapped, and that's yeah, it. We're gonna, we're gonna blindfold them, hold them for ransom. You're watching that's the beginning the of a ransom alley. video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, maybe I am a little too excited to get kidnapped, but how could I not be excited to set foot in my first proper workshop in at least two years? Ruth and Sean make all the magic for kids invent stuff happen in a beautiful and wildly chaotic workshop down in Cornwall. I didn't realize how much I'd missed being in this kind of space. And of course, it was wonderful to finally meet the hardest working member of the team. The plan for the day was to tackle a one day build style of project video featuring 10 year old Rhiannon's invention idea for finger cutlery and maybe turn it into a bit of a competition. Oh, we're getting competitive. We'd each kind of take on our own method, which for me, of course, meant utilizing 3D printing, and combine it into a video for the Kids Invent Stuff channel. One of the things I noticed working alongside Ruth and Sean was how differently they create videos compared to my own approach. Their camaraderie lends itself to an organic, creative process quite different to my own fully scripted and pre-planned videos. This resulted in needing a lot of takes for my parts. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. I should do that again. <laughs> so I am 100% going to be 3D printing my finger cutlery. What are we calling these things? I'll just start over again from the beginning. So I'm definitely going to use some So that is more or less my plan for my attack. My, this is more or less my plan for, God, where did my words go? This is more or less my plan of attack for my approach to this project. While Ruth and Sean got to work on their own stuff, I got to play with some of the big boy toys. Gosh, was that fun. I wasn't the only one getting out the big guns. Working side by side with other competent makers towards a common goal is not an experience I've had very often. And I couldn't help but notice how well Ruth and Sean work together. What might it be like to have a partner in making like this for me? I'm really quite emotional about this challenge. It was rather incredible though, holding my own against such skilled professionals. I feel like even if the two of us teamed up, we still wouldn't beat <laughs> And you gotta admit, my finger forks did come out pretty heckin' cool. I know I haven't really gone into the actual making of the finger cutlery, but that's because you can learn all about what we did over on the Kids Invent Stuff channel.
I highly recommend checking it out if you're curious to see how we each made our own version of finger forks. There was one more unique element to this collaboration video that was new to me. Filming in public. So we've been working all day on these finger forks, these finger cutlery pieces, all for this. This is the moment in which we actually get to see if these things are functional. And we are going to eat some actual food with our finger cutlery. But just to make it worse, we are also going to wear some GoPros while we do it. So. I reckon this might be the most absurd thing I've done in public in a very long time, maybe ever. And it definitely ranked up there in terms of absurdity. That said, I honestly didn't expect just how much interest this would generate from the general public. Very yeah. confusing. Come have a look, right? So, so, so. <laughs> it's exactly as absurd as you think it is. We're filming a video in which we're testing out eating a meal with finger cutlery. Yeah. No way. Yeah. Um, this is amazing. This is amazing. You guys, you guys are absolutely incredible. <laughs> The whole day was a lot of work and much more effort than you can ever really appreciate from the other side of the screen, but it was also so much fun that it was over before I knew it. Well, I'm enjoying myself. It's quite hard to truly grasp the sheer amount of ridiculousness that went on behind the camera. I know I've given you a bit of a look, but trust me when I say this is only the tip of the iceberg. It was only for a day though. And before I knew it, I was heading back to London. In a way, it's weird to be back, by myself, in my little workspace. I learned a lot from this experience, but the most surprising things were simply how much I loved getting really physical with the build, using bigger and better tools, and working alongside other people. I've always been a bit solo, and therefore somewhat beholden to what I'm able to provide for myself. I'm not sure how I feel about that anymore. What if that changed? What if I broke the mold for the channel, started working more with other people and in other spaces? What if this experience changed me? This could be a turning point for everything. And if you want to see what happens, then you better subscribe because I have no idea what's coming next. Hmm.